So how did they do this study? Six month, two center, three arm, randomized parallel group controlled feeding trial. All right, they were young adults, aged 18 to 35 years, BMI less than 28. They're metabolically healthy. There are three diets that are isocaloric, you guys, isocaloric diet. Every diet is controlled. All of the food was provided for these people in the study. Every single bit of food over six months was provided for people in the study. This is unheard of. All the diets are isocaloric. They're all exactly the same amount of calories. You can't bring the calories in, calories out argument here. All the arguments are moot. The only things they changed among these three groups over six months were lower carbs, more soybean oil. Okay, what do you think happened? Because the dietary recalls appeared to underestimate the amount of calories they needed, all the groups lost weight. But check this out. This is very clear. Body weight change and waist circumference. What do you think this line up here is? This is the high fat, high soybean oil line. What does it show? It shows that the people who ate the most soybean oil lost the least amount of weight. Again, everybody lost weight because their dietary recall was inadequate. They didn't give them enough calories to maintain their weight. What you can see though, is that the soybean oil, the more soybean oil they had, the less weight they lost. The less soybean oil they had, the more weight they lost. But wait a minute, more soybean oil means more polyunsaturated fats, more linoleic acid. Does this sound like anything we've heard recently? This is exactly what I've been talking about, you guys. The more linoleic acid in our diet, the fatter we get. 